Good evening from Mission Control here at the National Space Center. Today is June 22nd and we are just over 7 minutes away from our scheduled liftoff of Fusion 2. Today marks our 7th mission of 2024 and our 3rd using Fusion 2. Everything is looking good on the countdown so far. Propellant loading is currently underway on the vehicle and is expected to wrap up in just a few minutes from now. For those who don't know Fusion 2 is a partially reusable to stage launch vehicle powered by liquid oxygen and liquid methane. The first stage utilizes 14 Eolus engines which combined produce about 900 tons of thrust. The second stage is equipped with two vacuum optimized Eolus engines which combined output around 130 tons of thrust. After stage separation today we are going to attempt an experimental return to launch site landing with our first stage. This will mark our first ever recovery of an orbital class rocket booster and will enable a sustainable future for fusion space. During flight 2 you will remember we had a spectacular end to our soft splashdown attempt with stage 1. Since then our teams have discovered that during descent one of the fins we used to steer the booster during descent locked up at around 30 kilometers. This caused a constant roll and slight control loss during descent. Despite this the booster was able to remain on target and initiated a landing burn at around 2 kilometers, during which an engine suffered an unplanned shutdown and the rest of the engines failed to reach full thrust. Because of this we hit the ocean much faster than expected. Fixes have since been implemented and our teams are confident in a successful landing today. We have four payloads on board for this mission so let's take a look at what we have. The primary payload today is Niobium 1A built by Niobia Semiconductor Technologies. It is a communication satellite made for use by private companies and space companies around Drew. We'll be taking it up to a 300 km orbit at a 37 degree inclination. SpoopX returns back to Fusion Space today with the first of many launches this year. For this launch we are sending up to SpoopySats. These satellites are built to observe multiple things such as the weather and animal life and recently have been equipped with high-resolution cameras for terrain mapping. A particularly special mission is launching onboard Fusion to today. Five minutes. Our first ever satellite bus is being sent to space for a full demonstration flight. This vehicle is made to send science payloads into orbit for a set period of time and then return back for a soft landing with a parachute. We hope to open up this service in the last quarter of 2024. We're just under 5 minutes from liftoff now. At the T-minus for minute mark we should hear the call out that propellant loading has finished on the second stage. At the 2 minute and 30 second mark we should hear the call out that propellant loading is complete on the first stage. Once propellant loading is done we'll see a purge vent clearing the lines of any flammable fluids. This is completely normal and isn't a leak. At the T-minus 30 second mark there is an optional hold but we do not expect to hold today as everything is looking great. Stage to propellant loading complete. Alright that means all the propellant has been loaded onto the second stage. Just as a little reminder of what to expect for today's mission. At T minus 2 seconds we should see the ignition of all 14 EOS engines. At T plus 3 seconds the vehicle should lift off from the pad at full power. At around the 1 minute mark we'll throttle down for max Q or maximum dynamic pressure. Just past the 2 minute mark we'll see the shutdown of all 14 EOS engines on the first stage. 
The clamps holding the two stages together will release and the two vacuum Eolus engines will ignite for the first of two burns to reach orbit. During this time the booster will light six engines and boost back to the landing zone for an experimental recovery. After completing its first burn the second stage will enter a roughly four minute long coast phase to reach Apopsis. Upon reaching Apopsis the second stage will light up its engines one last time to insert the second stage into a 250 km orbit where it will start doing checkouts with ground control before proceeding with the primary mission. Booster propellant loading complete. Alright that means Fusion 2 is now loaded with all of its propellant required for launch. Everything is looking green so far and it looks like we won't need that hold at T30 seconds. I'll stay quiet here for now and return at T plus 30 seconds. Enjoy the callouts from Mission Control. T minus two minutes. Fusion two is configured for flight. T minus one minute. GSE closeouts. Pass through hold gate. Flight director is go for launch. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two ignition. We have liftoff. Go Fusion 2. Go Niobium 1A. Vehicle pitching downrange. Eolus chamber pressures nominal. 20 seconds into flight. We can see all 14 Eolus engines ignited on Fusion 2. Everything is looking great so far. We are on a nominal flight path. Next up is Max Q. Power and telemetry nominal. Beautiful onboard views there as we continue to head into space. You heard that the vehicle is currently nominal. Max Q. Great news there, Fusion 2 has passed the area of peak mechanical stress. We're currently still on a nominal flight path. In just over a minute from now we should see a series of events happen rapidly. We'll see the shutdown of all the Eolus engines on the first stage. Separation of the second stage followed by ignition. After this the booster will flip over and relight six of its engines and perform a boost back burn. 
putting it on path with our landing zone just south of the launch pad. Okay, we should be coming up on stage separation now. Miko. Stage separation. Second stage ignition. Boost back burn startup. Bearing separation confirmed. Alright, that was a lot to take in there. We currently have our second stage on its way to space and our booster is on its way back to the landing zone. You also just saw a camera that was mounted on the fairings during separation providing a nice clean view. And as you can see there now we are getting a view Boost of the payloads on board for today's mission. Both stages continue to follow a nominal trajectory. Stage 1 FTS is saved. You can see a great view of Drew there on the first stage camera. We should be coming up on an entry burn shortly. This burn will help slow us down just a little bit and perform any last minute trajectory adjustments. Stage 2 chamber pressures nominal. Stage 1 entry burn startup. You can see the booster has Seek lit up 6 engines for that entry burn. We expect this burn to last around 20 seconds. The second stage has also just begun its four minute coast phase. Stage 2 nominal trajectory. Entry burn shut down. A great view of the fins there steering the booster through the atmosphere as we descend. Now for that landing burn we expect to see 10 engines light up initially before going down to 6. At around the 100 meter mark we should see 4 landing legs at the base of the vehicle deploy. And if all goes well we should have a booster on the ground.
stage one landing burn stardock. Here we go. We've lit up all ten. We've transitioned to six. We appear to be on target. LZ-1, we have a booster on the ground. Landing operators proceed to for dot one three post landing operations. What an amazing sight. Fusion 2 has successfully landed at our landing zone in one piece. Congratulations to all of the Fusion space teams. The second stage is currently around 2 minutes from its second relight so let's just recap what we have seen. At T minus 2 seconds we had all 14 ELS engines on the first stage ignited and we had our first clean ascent. We successfully separated the second stage and got it through its first burn to space. Meanwhile we saw a nominal boost back with all the engines and a great entry burn. And just to top that off we had a successful landing burn and we didn't put a hole in the ground. A huge congratulations to our teams once again. This is a huge achievement and we cannot wait for the future because we have a lot more coming. We should be about 15 seconds from that relight of the second stage now. This will be a short burn to put the vehicle in orbit. Second stage ignition. Seco. Nominal orbital insertion. All right, that will bring our live coverage to a close. We'd like to thank our customers for entrusting us with today's launch and we'll be providing you with live updates on the mission as it progresses. You can find that on our Twitter. We'd like to congratulate all of our teams who made everything you saw today possible and we are extremely excited to see what the future holds for us. Thank you for joining us today to watch this mission live and we hope to see you again soon for our next mission. Have a great rest of your day.